Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get this message for our table when we say one quickly review to Una concerning the things when we say if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. This one a very serious message when it be say all the obedience need to take notice of. Yes, if possible, it suppose may this very message reach all the national chairman and also the youth leaders of Labour Party. And the title of this one thought say 2023, why Peter obese Labour Party go lose Zaria for Kaduna State. I believe say this one an expo when EBC yes, obedient family not supposed to take likely. Yes. If there be anything when EBC this put they try to review, when EBC we need to settle or work out, I believe say proper attention need to be paid to this kind of issue. All right. Now we do want to read this from inside this very one. May we understand what can be the problem. And as we put our hand there for inside this matter, the come because understand, say, Labour Party feel lose Zanfara local government area of Kaduna State during the 2023 presidential election. And the the come to say, this one, na message will be said they may know by activists will be said in name na Deji Adeyanju. Deji Adeyanju. <laughs> I bet you say na another person. As long as not DG and I believe say this one no, this message not get weight because people like DG and Deyanju will not trust them. Yes, they are Confucianists. Now, may we still go on. The contour say, it toss a Labour Party, say it go lose Zamfara when it be say na it be the hometown of obese Ronnie mates when in him na Yusuf Amen Dati. And still on top of the matter, the contour say for the tweet when be say this man sent across. It toss the only way when we say that he will take win he own pulley unit for IB Zanfara for February. Now, if he be say he buy votes and also even if he buy, it will still be a very serious battle. We know all the critical stakeholders for Zanfara and Kaduna politics, and then they see the post, then they laugh. All right, my great and wonderful people, this one of the message we basically will they receive right now. From Deji Adeyanju, a confused man, when he be say it it all say, if care is not taken, Peter Obi or Labour Party will feel lose Zanfara. And uh, before we leave, we na make una share una opinion with us on the comment section. I believe say this man will not be what when he be say that they pay much attention to because this man don't already they confuse. Deji don't already they confuse. Deji don't know where he belong. They do not know whether na Azum Buhari he belong to or Jagabana he belong to or na Atiku na he belong to. He just rotate up and down. Anywhere beliefs. So I don't believe say na person will be say to they take serious like that. And I also equally understand say if there be anything when we say they need to do, not be only for Zanfara. All around Nigeria, obedient family will always do their best to make sure say they secure their bag, you understand? So, for people like Deji to the common side, I wish now another person will even feel pay attention, you understand? If you even give a listening ear, not be Deji. Deji, you know, it was not the whole water again, you understand? me? the time when they say all those people, they're really they truthful, we know them. And the time when they say they're the they they still shift their own ground, we also know them. All right, my great and wonderful people, we'll leave on our share on our opinion with us in the comment section. Even as we leave you to watch this next video, we'll come back for the conclusion. My one leg and half is almost out of PDP. I'm to be very frank with you. Like what PDP is doing now? You can see that we are, we are moving fast, fast, fast down the rung of the campaign. That is the truth. We're moving very fast down the rung of the campaign. If not because uh, uh, Tunubu shot himself on the leg by bringing a Muslim, Muslim ticket, and his utterance is also not helping matters. You will find out that uh, if he has packaged himself very well, then if you read Peter will be by normal rating, you read it, you know. But then, from what is going on, the, the, both of them, that is APC and uh, PDP, are now at par in their ratings. 
either way, both of them are below, and that is why they are behind Labour Party, criticizing the Labour Party. Why Labour Party is in front, talking about solutions of Nigeria, solutions to problems of Nigeria. So that is the way I see the political permutations now. Because no more it, it, something of it is Yoruba, it is Igbo, it is Hausa. No. It is now nationwide movement. And like I said in the other interview, Peter B himself as a person cannot even control the movement now. I want to say this without fear of equivocation. We owe you youths a duty. And we owe you youths an apology. Many of us who are in our 50s and 60s today are benefits or beneficiaries of public schools where you pay 40 naira to eat for a term, where you have chairs and lockers provided by the government, where our teachers, once they are graduates and are posted to our secondary schools in the late 70s and early 80s, they are given a brand new car as car loan for, for, for use in their schools. Now, you find out that Every school then had a bus provided by the government. The double bunk bed we use in schools were provided by the federal government. These things were given to us almost at no cost. Today, we, the beneficiaries of those things, are suffering the youth who did not know that we benefited from this. So we need to tell them that we owe them an apology. Because until we do, I don't think there will be tempo, the tempo of the rest of the school down. It will not. So, people telling you that uh, 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 they are this, they are this, they are, 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 are labeled to death, what benefit have you given to the Nigerian society that trained you? These youths are Nigerians too. So, we should owe them an apology. Like I said in the other interview too, ordinarily, ordinarily in advanced part of the world, PDP and APC, these two political parties, by their name, should be moving around the country and apologizing to Nigerians for keeping them down from 1999 to date. They should be not even campaigning. They should allow the third force to take off. Let us watch the third force. If the third force disappoints us, we'll live for a fourth force. So that's what I'm saying. They should be apologizing rather than campaigning. But they are busy campaigning and still throwing panthers and saying people should labor to death. That is the mentality of somebody who needs a brain reset. All right, my great and wonderful people. This man, God will bless you. I believe say you be lawyer. Uh -huh. You will see better case, judge. Case will be saying, I will give you a holla. Uh -huh. Now, our prayer now will be that very one. You see how he be say this man take on my side. And remember, say this man will be say the talk so. Now, still member of PDP. You will hear from the beginning say, in he own leg now, don't they come on for PDP small, small. Now, one leg now, he, he get for PDP now. Yes, because if you they honest, and you really they see the goodness of your people. Yes, definitely. Anywhere when you be say, it will make that vision happen. Now there you they go. Yes, you don't need to talk say because I say uh, in, I am not there there. I am not the Labour Party. And uh, even though say that they do good thing, it not concern me. Make a call an evil. You yourself, you be automatically evil person. I don't know the kind of English we want you so that you will understand. If you see weird things for the happen for good, if you be good person, it most definitely attracts you. Yes. Evil attracts evil. Good attracts good. Anybody would be saying if they condemn Peter Obi, make could not follow the quarry. Just know who they be. Say they be evil people. They be darkness people. Yes. They see the light. They understand, say Peter Obi, na light at this very time. They want quench by all means. They want fight them by all means. They want frustrate them by all means. So that they will continue to they get their own way. Just like the way when they say it did ever since. You know if we continue. You know here waiting this matter from the end of this very video. Say for you to come as I say you can't criticize Peter Obi. You need your brain to be reset. Yes, may they format your brain. They set them again like factory sets so that you will feed the whole small, small information and they work with them well. You understand? And then also, for the other thing we need to address before we draw the conclusion, we need to say, say PDP and APC, they're not supposed to they campaign even as they talk now. Something we need to say, suppose me that they do now, now for them to the worker, 
state to state, zone to zone, villages to villages, town to towns. They apologize to Nigerians for all the time when they say they don't waste us. And all the promises when they don't make to us when they say yes, that they disappoint us. They're supposed to they apologize, they go not be campaign. Not be campaign. At this man just talk now, say Peter will be now, Peter will be everybody say Peter will be. If we still mess up tomorrow, we will see a bad on You know, get permanent side for this kind of game when they say what they talk about. So now where if for good, now there we be. If you're not good, we move. All right, my great and wonderful people. I will leave another make and share on our opinion with us in the comment section. And before we draw the line here, I want you this medium to really appreciate each and every one of you for your time, your effort. They will be to the help of the share this broadcast, your likes, your comments, all of them we appreciate them. I bet make not forget to help us share this very once life is still our brothers and sisters all over the world because we believe and want to see information and power. And as we do so, God Almighty will bless you. We would like to draw the conclusion of this program here. We will see you again when we see you. Remember. We love you all. Bye-bye.